If there is one thing that could be truly stated as the progressor of our world, it's technology. That might seem like an obvious statement, but with every major technological advancement that we've made over the course of a millennia, humanity has changed the world. Think of the rise of steel, gunpowder, assembly lines, computers, and more. Everything that we've crafted has given us a leap forward that has radically changed what we can do. So, with the future always looming ahead, the question becomes, what's next? Join us as we have a look at 20 emerging technologies that will change our world. Number 20. Vertical Farming Farming is absolutely something that we've grown technology-wise and technique-wise over the millennia. There was a time when things like irrigation were impossible, and now it's a daily process. Add to that the building of machines and vehicles that can do the work of dozens of people in a fraction of the time, and you can see what a long way that we've come. However, if you look at the current world's issues, one of them is that there never seems to be enough of certain items, and that's part of the reason why there have been spikes in pricing for things like eggs. But how can we fix it if there are limited areas where things can be grown? Well, behold, the futuristic farms that will feed the world, aka vertical farming. Now, I'm sure that you have many pictures in your head of what this might be, so I'll show you some examples of them now. As you can see, they're farms that grow plants and crops inside and on stacked layers. You may think that because of its restrictive format that it can't grow as much as a standard farm, but you would be wrong. Because of how it's set up, you use less land than a standard farm and can grow more consistent crops because the only conditions that you have to worry about are within the building itself. That means no weather destroying your crops, less chance of things like herbicides and bugs accidentally wiping out that part of your crop set. Plus, due to its stacking nature, you can have it go as high as you like, which means that there's plenty of chances for you to get as much as you need without having to expand outwards like the typical farms. If this method becomes widespread, it could help many issues, but not all. So, you may just want to keep an eye out for this one in the future because it could change the world. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19 The Color Changing BMW. It might feel a little less important than the topic that I just discussed, but you have to admit that something like a color-changing car is pretty impressive. There are cars out there, including certain electric vehicles that are promoted by Kevin Bacon, which allow you to change parts of your car's coloring on the inside, but not on the outside. Enter the BMW with an e-ink wrap. What does that mean? Well, long story short, they have a special paint job known as a wrap that they can place on the car that is affected by the electrical stimulation within the metal. So when you push a certain button, you can alter the way the car looks in more ways than one. The basic way is that you can change it from white to black, which is beneficial for various reasons if you're in organized crime, but it also includes keeping your car much more cool during a hot summer day by keeping it white. It goes well beyond the simple color change though. You can augment it so that part of the car is white and the other part is black. You can apparently have it with a striped look or even blotches, all to make it seem more like a painting and so on. But we'll dive deep into where this technology could be leading us. Specifically, imagine if they're able to make it so that it could go beyond white and black. Imagine if it were a Roy G. Biv situation, where you had a rainbow-filled color palette that you could change your car into with the press of a button. Think about how much time and energy it would save when buying a car. Many times, people find the right model of car, but they can't get the color that they want, or they have to go out of state and have it driven in for them to get that perfect color, which often costs more money. With this, though, you just say to yourself, I want a red car, and then you push the button and it's there. And then you can drive away from the bank you just robbed and the police are none the wiser. Number 18. Virtual Reality Headsets 
I'll be honest, there are some debates about whether this technology will be a game changer that many feel that it could be. After all, we've had VR headsets in our world for years now, and things have not exploded as certain commercials would tell you. That's not to say that the technology is not impressive, because it absolutely is. Being able to put on a headset and then be beamed into another world is incredible, and they've worked on the various technologies within that headset and its controllers to give you a more robust and immersive experience. The problem, though, which has been present since day one, is that to use the headset to its maximum capability, you'll need to have an area in which to play with it. If you do a game like Beat Saber, you're going to need to make sure that you can move freely and swing your arms. Not everyone has that ability, which is why accidents with VR headsets are so common. Another issue is the question of, why should I have it? Well, yes, you can play video games on it, but that's what consoles and PCs can do, and arguably a whole lot better. As the initial sales of the PSV VR2 highlight, just because you have something that can do something wondrous doesn't mean that people are going to immediately buy it. And while some people have been trying to create an immersive universe within the VR space, it has not been fully realized yet and is already suffering some issues. So it may be fair to say that until we get something like the Star Trek holodeck, we may not see the groundbreaking power of virtual reality. Number 17. 3D Printer in contrast to the last entry, the 3D printer is something that is out right now and is slowly working its way into the lives of people on multiple levels and achieving great incredible results. At its base, the printer is exactly what you would expect it to be. It's a device that will let you print just about anything that you'd want. All you have to do is have a 3D model created to a proper scale. Feed it into the printer with the materials that you want and then it's going to do the job with stunning precision. It's not just simple things that can be printed out. As long as you have a good enough model and a good material to carve it out from, you'll find that the items that are printed are high quality and can be shaped like anything. If you're a cosplayer, it's very likely that you either have used one for your outfits or you know someone who has used one and uses it for theirs, the results of which can be incredible to see how they've used it for their creation process. But if we go bigger, we will say that 3D printers can be upscaled, and some already have been, and it can redefine how the building process is done. Instead of having to slave away for hours on end to make something and hope that it works, you can have a computer do it, test it out, and then tweak things if necessary. Plus, there are many out there who feel that this could be a major step towards creating replicators, as seen in Star Trek, where we not only get certain items we want, but we can print out food as well. If we do get that ability, that would change the world forever, and I know exactly what I'd get with my first order. Some hot... Number 16. Brain Implants We've come a long way with making implants and implant-like devices that can help restore people in various ways. But what about the one that can help fix your brain? That's the goal of some medical workers, and some even believe that we could have this technology by 2030. The premise of it is simple. They would use these implants to replicate parts of the brain and help fix things that were damaged by things like Alzheimer's or strokes and heart attacks. The device would work by effectively replacing damaged parts of the brain, predicting what those parts of the brain could do from moment to moment, and then it simply allows the transmission of brain signals between areas where there was once a gap. Could you imagine how many people would be helped if such a thing were able to work? This is one technology that many pray will come around sooner than later. Number 15. Quantum Internet because we don't have enough of a love for the internet as it stands, we absolutely have to have an even more powerful internet to make our lives complete. All jokes aside though, there is a plan for a quantum internet, and much like the last entry, 2030 is the date that the goalposts have been set at. The point of this version of the internet is to use a special quantum signal to get information sent from one place to another in a place of radio waves. The benefit of this is that these signals cannot be hacked, piggybacked, or even used for nefarious purposes, so you can imagine why people within the United States Department of Energy are trying to make such a thing come to pass. It would give them and others plenty of security while also giving them blazing fast internet. Number 14. The Seabin Project while many of the technologies that we'll show you are incredible, many of you may be wondering if any of them will ever truly help the world in the environmental sense. Some that you've seen will do that, and the Seabin project is another in that line. Simply put, these are devices that are meant to go through the waters of our world and clean it up by collecting and filtering the trash that is within. 
The oceans of the world are full of trash, plastics, microplastics, and more, and not enough is being done to fix that problem. However, with this project, and ones that build upon it, we might get some clean oceans just yet, which is exactly what we need to not only save the planet, but to save the creatures in the ocean as well. Number 13. The Smart Grid if you're wanting another technology that could help the planet alongside its people, then you should have a gander at the smart grid. This is technology that people are trying to incorporate into the world in this decade, and as we've seen in recent years, the power grid that literally powers America and other countries who have similar issues is not always all that reliable. Depending on when it was built, it could literally be hanging on by a thread or even a very old hook. And I'm not joking on that one either. This new grid, however, would work alongside various green energy sources so that it could properly power people on the grid and not waste any energy, all the while compensating when one of the green energy sources does not provide enough power. It would be a big step into a more green world, and thus it is something to hope for. Number 12. Quantum Computers it should not really be all that surprising that companies like Google and IBM are working hard to make the next generation computer that will be a focus in our lives sooner rather than later. But what's important to note here is that the technology that will go into this will be so advanced that it could revolutionize how we process things, handle them, and then translate them. It will revolutionize areas such as artificial intelligence, financial modeling, development, weather forecasting, and cybersecurity, and that's just to name a few of the areas that it's going to help. Now, admittedly, the quantum computers that are built will initially be put to use in high-tech fields, which is understandable, but eventually, we may well get our hands on it, and oh, the fun that will be had. Number 11. Zooming Contact Lens there's another set of words that you probably thought you would never hear, but it's something that is being developed. In fact, the University of Colorado made one that actually works. They did make a contact lens that if you blink twice quickly, it'll zoom in on something far away. They built the lens itself to not only zoom in, but to react to how the person blinked and the signals that they gave off just so that the lens would understand what to do. Now, you may think, what would be the point of this outside of being an absolute creep and staring at ladies' bottoms? in public? Well, have you ever wanted to see something far away but didn't want to run over to see what it was because you're a lazy bastard? Or you thought you saw something in the distance but you just need to make sure. In the right person's hands, there are plenty of ways that this kind of technology could go well. Number 10. Palm Payments be warned, it is Amazon who is trying to invoke the mark of the beast. There are things that can go wrong here, but with their Palm Payments technology via Amazon One, you can see why people are trying to make this technology work. Now, very simply put, you'll set up an account with all of your credit card information and such, and then you'll scan your palm print so that it's your password. As they note correctly, your palm print is yours and yours alone, so using it would be your password as a clever way to get around those who like to hack the system and steal your information. Plus, since your hand is always with you, I hope, you won't have to rummage around to find a card or cash. You simply put out your hand and the scanner reads it, your payment is made, and the devil has your soul. Simple, effective, and guaranteed to somehow make money for Jeff Bezos. Number 9. Sand batteries. Another key area of technology that humanity has always tried to improve upon is that of creating and harnessing energy. Right now, the world is in a green energy race, if you will, because many nations are trying to do things like wind power, solar power, hydroelectric, and more on a more grand scale so that they can wean off the use of fossil fuels. Enter the sand batteries, a pair of words that you probably were not expecting to hear. However, it is true, these batteries that use sand to convert energy into heat. Its main purpose is to work as a high-power and high-capacity reservoir for excess wind and solar energy. That energy is then stored as heat, which can be used to heat homes or to provide hot steam and high-temperature processing heat to industries that are often fossil fuel dependent. That might seem like a basic function for something like this, but don't knock it. One of the down points of free energy is being able to capture and use it all once things begin. With these batteries, they can be used to help ensure that every part 
part of the buffalo is used and that we as humans will get the maximum benefit from the green energy process. The first of these batteries was built in Finland, but if it were to go worldwide on a large scale, it might help bring more people to the green energy table. That's something that we absolutely need if you didn't know. And if more people benefit from these batteries, you might see them popping up near you soon enough. Number 8. GPS for Tumors or Drugs you can easily list GPS as one of the technologies that has helped to change our lives forever. It helped us to create things like Google Maps and other technologies that can help everyone and keep them from getting lost in the world. But what if we were to use that in a more localized way, say within our very own bodies? That's the hope of some doctors as they try to use GPS to keep track of things in your body or to see where they're going once they're ingested. Why would they want to do that? Well, one purpose is to keep track of tumors, as you hopefully know, tumors can grow, move, or even multiply if the conditions are right. By keeping track of the tumors, doctors can know more quickly what to do about a certain situation and see if there needs to be a more expedient treatment that's done for the patient. Another trick that they want to use the in-body GPS for is to help with precision treatments. One of them is used for cancer patients, but they have to be very precise with how they do it or else they may end up hurting more than they help. The GPS could guide them to where where the cancerous growths are and help to eliminate them. Furthermore, it could be used to help in trials to see where the medicine that is given to the person goes. The possibilities may very well be endless. Number 7. Brain Controlled Robots yeah, there's no way that this could possibly ever backfire on humanity and start the beginning of Judgment Day, right? But remember, it's inevitable. As doomed as we might end up being, there are people right now trying to make it so that we can control robots not with a controller or even by voice command, but with our very own thoughts. The logic behind this, if you can call it even that, is that robots can process things at such a quick rate that controlling them in a slow way, like with the affirmation mentioned methods does not help anyone. In contrast, by linking a robot with the human brain and training the person on how to use their brain waves to control the robots through mental commands, you can get things done faster and use them to their fullest potential. In theory, you can see the potential with this. Imagine an army soldier having a robotic counterpart and then guiding them through the thought to an enemy location and quickly relaying orders to get enacted with speed and efficiency. All of that while not having to worry about a signal from a remote device or the robot interpreting its words wrong. Humanity is trying to further what a robot can do, and this is the next step in that process. But do not fear Skynet arriving just yet. It's not a simple as robotic telepathy, there's a process that has to be undergone here, and it's anything but basic. Plus, it's still in the feeling out stage, so of course, what people are inevitably going to worry about is the fact that if we can give commands to robots, then eventually the robots might be able to send thoughts of their own the other way, and who really wants that? Number 6. Exobionics Exoskeletons Exoskeletons are one of many sci-fi technologies that are in the works right now in the real world and are already seeing some nice results. These are attachments to your body that you wear to help do various tasks or give you greater freedom of movement. Now typically, you would see such exoskeletons in the hands of soldiers as they would have great use for them in the field. However, there are plenty of uses for them on the civilian level, which includes being able to help people be more mobile should they have a condition, or allow them to do work that would usually take multiple people to do. Ones like the exobionics exoskeletons could be the future if things go the right way. Number 5. Transparent OLED Screens Screen technology, well, that's something that's been developed to a surprising degree over the years. We were at first just happy to have a screen to watch things on in regards to television and movies. But then, with the advent of new technology, we've gotten new and bigger and brighter and better screens to watch everything on. Now, they're trying to take this to the next level by making transparent OLED screens. The goal of this is many-fold, but one of the general ideas is that you'll be able to put your your screens on any surface and not have that surface be hidden behind the screen itself. So if you're trying to show off a beautifully decorated room and highlight things about it, well, this screen may well just be for you.
Number 4. Robotic Soldiers If you pay attention to the growth of certain military technologies, you're going to note that one of the common trends is trying to take soldiers out of the line of fire in one form or another. We already know about UAV drones and how well that's worked out so far. There's also remote-controlled tanks that are being used to help keep soldiers out of the line of fire. But what about fully removing the soldiers from the battlefield and putting robots in their place? Well, that's what many think that Boston Dynamics is doing. via a video that they showed off. Thankfully for everyone though, it was all CGI, but it was also an interesting question of what would happen if such robots existed. After all, we've all seen robots, androids, cyborgs, and various other forms of robots be used in combat via movies, television shows, and even video games, so it's not entirely impossible to think that such things could eventually come to pass in our lifetime. The real question would be, are we close to that right now? The answer the answer is currently no, and for some very basic reasons. While we have made impressive strides in robot technology, they're not exactly bright enough to react to real-world conditions on the whole without some human intervention and guidance. That isn't to say that it will not happen, but it's not going to happen right now. And if it does, well then we'll just have to add that to the checklist of things that is going to bring Judgment Day down upon our heads. Number 3 self-driving vehicles. Here's another one where you could easily say, well, we're right on the cusp of it, but we're not quite there yet. There are many out there who feel that self-driving cars, aka the autonomous car, is the future of our world for more reasons than you would suspect. And there have been many, including the infamous Elon Musk, who have promised that it will happen sooner rather than later. To his credit though, Tesla has been working on such a system for quite a while. And then there are rideshare companies like Uber, who have also been testing out self-driving rides with some mixed results. The benefits of such a system should be obvious. Imagine not having to worry about driving to work and just letting the car do it for you. While you're putting a lot of faith in the ride, if it works, you can have a relaxing car ride or even sleep or work in the car while the vehicle does all of the heavy lifting. Plus, with the right processing power, the computer can make decisions at a much faster rate of speed than a human or react to certain stimuli that could save the driver's life. The downside to all of this is that you're putting all of your trust into a computer and computers can make mistakes. Plus, what happens if the technology that makes all these decisions then crashes on a large scale? That's why there will be many, many tests for this technology before it's even put out into the world in bulk. Number 2. Flying Cars Oh, you thought that I was done with vehicles, but you forgot there's another key technology that many people think is coming that could change our lives forever. That would be none other than the flying car. It's a dream that many have had ever since science fiction first touched upon them, and then shows like the Jetsons personified it with their cars that could fly anywhere and then fold up into a suitcase. The twist here is that there are actually flying cars in the world today. The governments of the world, especially those like the United States, have been developing them for decades, and they have had some success. So why don't we have them on the regular? Well, that's because they aren't feasible to distribute just yet. They cost way too much money, and no average family would be able to afford one, nor the fuel that it would take to fly around in the way that they wanted. Plus, there's also that issue of how flying cars would be managed regarding them being in the air and flying with other vehicles, because you know, there aren't exactly traffic lights in the sky. That's not to say that people have given up on the idea. In China, the Xping X2 is one vehicle that the nation hopes to have in many people's hands within a few years, and there are more where those came from. Will we be whizzing through the air on a technology-fueled ride someday? Well, more than likely, but we still have a little bit of time to go in order to get to that point. Number 1. Precision Agriculture we began with agriculture, so why not end with it? There are many ways that farmers are using technology to help their crops yields and such, and one of those ways is with precision agriculture. A long story short, this is where technology like GPS and special sensors allow farmers to react quickly to things that may or may not be happening with their crops. By doing this, they potentially are able to help control their crop's growth and conditions so that a proper yield can be had. Now, believe it or not, this kind of agriculture has been going 
going on for decades, so now imagine if newer and fresher technology was used in this kind of farming. It could very well help to boost yields and also get rid of dead loss. That's all from the realm of technology and the various things that it will likely help us to do and grow and make and everything else for a more advanced society. Which of these items do you personally feel is destined to take us to the next level? And what ones do you think need more time cooking before they're ready to change everything? Be sure to let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen and I'll see you next time.